That's what you now, don't I? This is the Black Rifle Coffee Podcast. Prepare to get caffeinated. Okay, first and foremost, <laughs> first and foremost, are we rolling? I can't believe yeah, okay. We're you're you're drinking that. I got your milkshake. What is that? It's kind of a what conundrum situation because he's getting skinnier, but he's drinking more sugar. What? Why is this? This is a product that's in all of our stores, and now all of a sudden I'm being accosted for ordering a. You product sound like a liberal know? saying accosted. No, I I didn't. I I I don't think that you drinking this is inappropriate. I think having that dick straw was a little bit over the top. And I, I don't think that they should have put like a heart on top of the whipped cream. But that was me. And I don't think that you should have like blasted it all over your face once you, before you started. <laughs> Listen, it's really good. This is a pumpkin spice chocolate caramel latte. You can go into any Wait, one of our stores. Is that real? Pumpkin spice chocolate, chocolate caramel, caramel latte. Yeah. Frozen. Frozen. Jeez, it like that's it's so it sounds sure. like you just it's have to ask that. them for the JT. I have a God. little bit of a guilty pleasure. Like I always go into the coffee shop, I'm like, hey, I need to quality control that pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, make yeah. sure it's good. Yeah, I actually want that. I want to name a coffee beverage at our shops, Matt, so people go. I want to put Matt in my mouth, and that's how we you can order do that. We'll do that. We can do whatever. What's we want. I want the special? JT yeah, you special? like the special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is delicious. Let's all make drinks for the coffee shop. Yeah. So and and there's yeah. secret menu items. Yeah. Yes. And they're priced at $69.69. <laughs> Wait, after tax or before tax? No, that's should, after tax. It should level out. Yeah, $69.69 yeah. is the price for our secret drinks. It's the 69er. I don't we'll know. After 69er. I drink this, my hand just gets a little... <laughs> it gets a little loose. What's <laughs> happening with my It gets hand. a little loose. At I wrist. like... I can't drink cold brew anywhere. It's my favorite beverage other than us because every time I get cold brew at like even a specialty mom and pop shop, it's awful. Because you have to have good coffee to have well, good cold yeah. brew. So, Especially mom and pops are, they're notorious for bad coffee. Yeah, and like I, I've lit buttholes in my life and I don't like it. So that's yeah, saying something. Uh, it's saying a lot. That's kind of my thing. Like, get out of there. What? Like, come on. You can't take, you can't. Take Why do I taste eating? cinnamon? Dude, I was, I was getting my tag <laughs> for strip- my mule deer. Mm. I was oh, in, I thought okay. this is going no. totally different. Like, no. You got to have a tag for that? <laughs> <laughs> you need a what? tag for SC? <laughs> I, I have been Man, breaking the law. Season because I would like to. No, I did my <laughs> mule deer hunt and I was in Sportsman's Warehouse and I was going to get my tag and I was standing in line behind this guy and I, he, he had like one of those like pieced together sleeves, kind of not oh, yeah. too dissimilar from how my arm is. And I look at it and I see like, you know, the Peach emoji. Yeah. Yeah. And it, he's got that on his arm and it just says eater over the top of it. I was like, that's a bold move, Cotton. Peach like, eater. That dude obviously is from Georgia. He yeah, he's, 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 he's dude, Georgia. That's a good way to <laughs> He's from <laughs> Georgia. Can you imagine if you're just like, hey, baby? <laughs> it just says eater. You're like, right. what you thinking? Yeah. No? Yes? No? That's yes, what we should no. do. We should make a video called You Might Be a Marine F. And like, you just, that, that's right. your greeting. Check this out. Yeah. I want to make the inside of your thigh leg creases sweat. I had a I had a really good uh, dog handler. I'm not sure if you worked with him, um, uh, but his name was Squirrel. That was his call sign. And he had a giant squirrel going like this, reaching for his nuts. So every time he would get drunk, he'd pull down his pants and be like, want to see my squirrel girl? And it would be a squirrel going after his nuts. It was funny the first couple of times, but after about yeah. the 15th time, yeah. it was... Well, yeah, when you're a little dinner, rapey, you know, yeah, you're like, ah, maybe strange. don't get naked in yeah. the bar. And- you've, you've made that firm commitment to a squirrel on your leg reaching for your nuts. You have to show it a lot to validate the choice was reasonable. True. And so... You got to get your miles out of it. Yeah, I mean, you where do. You're going but that's it. an individual perspective of justification. It's not necessarily something that someone... It's kind of like, you, like, you know, it, when your buddy only has one story and so then you got to just constantly, constantly listen. hear yeah. the yeah. same yeah. one. Oh, you mean like my in-laws. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I see him. I'm just kidding. Hey, if Squirrel's out there though, I want to hang out with that guy. He was awesome. He had this affinity for watching the worst action B-movies of all time and that was awesome. 
There was, we watched a movie about a tire that was a murder I know, tire. I know that movie. No, it just really rolled good. and would kill yeah. people. It was yeah. the Shut up. Yeah, it's a really movie. good movie. Yeah. yeah. It was just called Tire, I think, or something. Yeah. I thought that was a joke. That's an actual movie. No, that's movie. a real movie. movie. Yeah, it's legit. I thought you were it's talking about- coming! And the tire just run over people. It was awful. I thought you were talking about Tear. No, no. no. Uh, Bruce Willis just did a, um, just a, a movie just came out that's the like surviving the game style. You Bruce know, where, Willis did one? Yeah. It oh, just nice. came out. And like, you know, he's in jail. They, they say, if you volunteer for this, you get dropped off on this island and all these rich people hunt you. Well, if you guys happen to watch this, I'm convinced that Bruce Willis was only hired for like three days on this production and there was never any other actors actually in a scene with him. Like every uh, scene that he's in, it's always a single and it's always like, you can tell he's not talking to another actor. Really? <laughs> so I think that they shot they this movie. They just kicked him like 150 Bruce, grand yeah, and like, well, let's just Willis shoot him out in the background. Bruce as the lead. And, <laughs> and then they just did nothing but singles where he, where he gave a bunch of one-liners in, a, in, in the woods and then that was it. Do you think wow. that's because nobody wants to work with Bruce Willis anymore? I don't know. I, I think it's because… A, a, a lot to handle. Bruce Willis doesn't want to work with anybody. That's well, vice versa, yeah. Same. Once you reach a certain point and you're just like, you know what? Like, I get it. I understand. Like, when you're constantly disappointed by the people that run your show, you know? <laughs> and you're just like, you know what? What the fuck? Do you want to hear a dad joke I just came up with for that? What's the similarity between Bruce Willis and dying during sex? Who? They both die hard. Welcome. That's cool. I'm not okay. So I, you know, I, I want to go down this road with him. I think he's right. You you got to think like the dude has done so many movies and also like the biggest budget movies too. Like yeah. and then he's at some star. point you're just like, fuck, I don't want to do this anymore because like yeah. when when the budgets start going lower, you're with lower budgeted crews and stuff like that. You're just you're like going backwards. Right. Well, and, like and think about. All the unions associated with, and this isn't me saying I'm an anti-union. I'm, I'm saying anti -union. when you're when you look at Los Angeles, specifically in yeah. Hollywood, and the, the the unions associated with the film yeah. industry, like Tyler was telling me, just doing um, Seal Team Six, the COVID restrictions based on the union it's tripled insane. the cost, yeah. and you you could only like you know, be on set for five minutes before you had to, you know, go back to your, you know, yeah. non-binary master and it's fucking insane. put on a put on a mask and take like, you yeah. know, get pegged or whatever the you fuck know. they have to do in Los Angeles. I don't know. And, and, but you know, for nuts. people that aren't crazy, familiar right. with the film industry, there are a lot of made up jobs just yeah. for people to take money. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be surprised yes. if they had a gender liaison now yeah, yeah. on set. To I'm make sure, sure that yeah. no, I'm like, sure they do. Right. No joke. Yeah. No, it's just like <laughs> I am the gender or like liaison. diversification yeah. specialist that yeah. like make sure like so, like mm -hmm. instead of just making a good film, they have to make it about yeah, it's race just like, and whatever. It's shit. just like Hunter Biden is all of a sudden an artist and he's selling paintings for five hundred thousand dollars. Like, yeah, get the fuck everybody out of here. knows though. This is the thing: the way you launder money through art is through art. Yeah, because there's no equitable way of proving the value of, of a that, fucking yeah. painting, right? So you can't sell this cup for $500,000 because um, you'd be like, market share says, no, that's about, you know, four to eight dollars. Unless, yeah. unless you do art and then it's like, oh, this fucking master art, Hunter Biden's $500. It's a fucking game. It's I had a money laundering, yeah. one-on-one, like straight up. I had a brilliant idea last night. You had a couple. You had a couple yes. good ones. One, I here. I'm going to transfer a color, probably the color yellow, into an NFT and take it to an IPO. And make the color yellow a publicly traded color. <laughs> 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 Where That's you can really buy stock idea. in a in color. <laughs> like, yeah. that, way, that way, hey, more people are using the color yellow. Our stock is up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're yellow literally up. playing the game about how all of this is made up. Because you could essentially yeah. like, make the color yellow into an NFT. You can you could segment that NFT out into shares. What's ownership. an NFT for people to know? I mean, I know. A non-fungible transfer. I don't token. fucking know. That's token. a token. token. Yeah. Yeah. But then you yeah. then you split it up and you take it to Dude, public. I don't know, man. I'm investing in yellow, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm investing in all my money in yellow, yellow, bro. You yellow? You yellow, bro. You yellow, bro. I know. Blue Are you calling me yellow, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that blue. <laughs> <laughs> Blue's looking good in the future. You know, the sky's you blue. Imagine, like, like Water's blue. <laughs> <laughs> finance in the morning. The color yellow is up four points today. Yeah. It'd just be a 
fun yeah, fucking, yeah. just ridiculous game to play God, with the system. That would like, be, that would be super fun. <laughs> Speaking That'd be really of, fun. Of colors, you might be looking at my wonderful shirt if you're watching this uh, on, on YouTube and go, Matt, that's a wonderful bamboo custom Black Rifle shirt. It's available very soon. It is nice. And you should come check out BlackRifleCoffee.com, especially in the holiday season because yeah. we got a lot of discounts coming out. Got a lot of new merch. Probably the largest, I think, of all time, new merch release we've ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, arguably, Close. it's yeah. it's it's up there. So yeah. a yeah. lot of cool. Didn't know if stuff it was gonna out. come because that supply chain. It's, yeah. it's yeah. a little shysty right now. Yeah. And while you're on the World Wide Web, you can check out <laughs> my new website, pigsinmyblanket.com. <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, that's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Pigs in my blanket. Yeah. Is you with some it, hogs in. <laughs> it might look like a porn site at first. It might. <laughs> Trust but, me. It is not. It is just for recreational. It, is, it, it drew uh, such a drastic <laughs> picture of you laying in bed with like chicks over 300 pigs pounds. In my, pigs, pigs in my blanket. my blankets.com. No, is this how you're promoting the, the hot dog company? No. Dude, also, I had a Wagyu hot dog the other day. They're great. Oh my goodness. Is that how you pronounce that? Wagyu? Wagyu. They say Wagyu. Wagyu, right? I mean, I'm a white guy from Michigan. I'm going to say Wagyu. I'm just saying. You're that, practically that a Canadian, way? which means you're practically French, which means oh, you're technically <laughs> the most cowardice person at this table. <laughs> Le Plouton. <laughs> Chocolate Blue. Lafayette. Oh. That's funny. This is general. What? Or general Lafayette. General Lafayette. Yeah, he taught. What's the difference between Wagyu and… George Washington had a fight. What's the other one? Um, well, there's A5. A5 Kobe. is like… The, Kobe, yeah, but Co Kobe and Wagyu. I mean, I know… Kobe's Japanese traditionally, right? And Wagyu is the American Kobe representation thing. of it. I think. Kobe I don't know what the A5 Japanese thing is. Dude, I don't know. Nobody I've knows. Watched, no, I've watched it. No, I can I tell you how fucking Tabasco is made. It has to ferment for two years in barrel. Tabasco does? Yeah. And the peppers. Why do you the know The species that? of peppers are grown in Louisiana and New Orleans, and then they're transplanted down to South America to the farms. I'm having a hard time wow. keeping up with this conversation. <laughs> what? Let it I happen. Got, this is what happens when we're four in person. We actually have some fun, you know? You don't like Tabasco? No, it's just the way that we have shifted <laughs> so drastically in every sentence. It's as if you're just talking, and then the other person starts to talk about a completely different subject with no transitions. Yeah. Why? That's you awesome. I wonder. Like, why? That's how skit comedy works. Airliners do not all. have power windows. They're no, never, they always yeah, one. you're right. True. You know, my favorite airplane was the SR-71 Blackbird. <laughs> it was a, good a airplane. Great, it was a great airplane. You the know? Mach 2.8. I mean, the ox cart was the precursor to that. And to be fair, <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> it's a beautiful design. Did that's you why know? you invest in yellow. Yeah. Yes, invest exactly. in yellow. But did you know Caesar salad was invented by a Mexican man in Tijuana in 1924? Yeah, Caesar. Yeah, his name yeah. was Caesar. Okay, yeah. that's really? Caesar no, that blew Milan. My mind. He pulled out the Wikipedia page. I was like, what? Yeah. Little known fact, of, Jared today. He ran out of shit in his restaurant and a bunch of spring breakers came in and he was like, oh shit. He's like, I have anchovies, romaine lettuce, and some croutons. Check it out. It's Caesar salad. <laughs> Little known fact. Did you know that Tabasco was going out of business and the only way that they restructured it and made the business successful is they made the aperture, the hole of the Tabasco smaller. <clears throat> Little known fact. And, that's, and they, they turned the complete business around just on packaging. Sriracha got into a lawsuit because their factory stunk so bad that oh, yeah. everybody surrounding it the factory their eyes like all fucked yeah. up. Mm -hmm. I like sriracha. <laughs> I love <laughs> sriracha. So good. Wait, dude, you ever put sriracha on Caesar salad? I bet that's good. Because if you make sriracha and ranch <laughs> for pizza, it's the it's best amazing. thing ever. I've been purchasing a lot of ham lately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just think this is, this is a perfect example. It's so blatantly obvious. Why, is it, why does Best Buy even exist? I can buy shit online. This no, doesn't even I, make sense I to I me. Go, I will go with you on that one because the last time I was at Best Buy, the guy goes, well, we could order this for you online. I'm like, fuck, I can't do. I can't get <laughs> yeah, it right? today. <laughs> that is, well, let's talk about that, though. How fucking frustrating when you go into Best Buy, right? And you're like, fuck it, I'll just go get it today. And then the fucking sales associate is like, oh, we'll order it. It will be in in a week or we can have it delivered to your house. And you're like, motherfucker, this is why Amazon is eating your goddamn lunch. 100%. Yeah. And yeah. your Caesar salad and your sriracha and your Tabasco. It's eating all the all lunches. Eating all the lunches. Dude, furniture places are the worst. Worst. You're like, you shop the whole day. You're like, oh, dude, I, you know what? I'm I'm game. They're like, great. It'll be 42 weeks. Yeah, yeah fake <laughs> lead time. After yeah. you pay. What? They yeah, say yeah, it yeah. should be yeah, two yeah, to three yeah. weeks. You purchase yep. transaction happens. They go, just kidding. Uh, Biden's got some ships out in the ocean. He'll be here in 48 weeks. Yeah. 
48 No, that's weeks. just, it was even before the ships. That was it. <laughs> 48 I went to weeks is the same gestation period as the kangaroo. <laughs> I, I'm telling you guys, this is the best goddamn Do you episode. know how many times kangaroos menstruate in Dude, a lunar cycle? I saw, I saw a really cute fucking video on TikTok. It was a guy I got the lunar a- phase tattooed on my back. It's fucking crazy, man. There was a guy dressed as a kangaroo and a little kangaroo jumped in his fake kangaroo pouch in a costume on Halloween. It was really cool. Do you guys remember when I let a 25-year inmate tattoo me with a homemade tattoo gun. Really? I remember yeah. That. Who was that? What? Yeah, one of the yeah, guys. They were there. They, no, they, they were part of the business. They were, they were <laughs> no, doing it, really Iron, cool stuff. It was uh, Ironwood. You though, and I. Yes. Hey, what is this? You and I. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> we weren't here for this. No, oh, we don't did, remember he, this. He used to do a video. He used to do a video series called Man Hacks. Man yeah, Hacks. Man Hacks. You was remember Man Hacks? Yeah, of course you remember Man Hacks. You made coffee out of a sock. You did some other stuff. I mean… He yeah. did all that, like yeah. He got a prison tattoo by an actual yeah. former. Like the guy spent like twenty years. Yeah, he like, was. Maximum he said, for what? "I don't know." You know, I don't know how much truth there is to this, but he said he was cellmates with um, Woody Harrelson's dad. I mean, that's really? believable. Yeah. That's very obtuse to like just pull out of your ass. Yeah, it kind of is. Right? That's a weird one to lie about. Yeah, why yeah. wouldn't you go with Kevin Kevin Costner, who's yeah. like celebrating Woody Harrelson? Well, everybody knows Woody Harrelson's dad was in prison. Muller. <laughs> and Woody Harrelson was Everybody in Kingpin. Everybody knows that Bill <laughs> Murray is Woody Harrelson's dad. Everybody knows that. I know. Everybody. Everybody. That's, the world. The world knows that. Which is why I'm tattoo. putting all of no, no, my no, money no, into it. I, I, won't, I won't allow that to happen. It was not a good experience. It did not pan out well. But he, it was really cool, the process. He took a uh, motor. Like, he made it, like, authentically how they did in prison. And he took the motor out of a Walkman. And then he used a pen yeah, yeah. for the thing. Yeah, and then he used, he sharpened a guitar string for yeah. the needle. And I've that, done this before, by the way. Have you? Well, my friend was in prison, ate a tattoo gun, and I tattooed someone out of it. Same thing. Pen or string. Did you pay him out of your prison wallet? Yes. I let Ooh, him inside me. That's great. He was the pig in my blanket. My wallet got warts. <laughs> <laughs> Evan's gonna have I a bet. fucking seizure during this podcast. <laughs> I have a need for a new wall. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of looking at my old one. You know, that, I mean, do you think one. this is the year, though? Uh, you know, you and I have been sitting on a really good idea for a while. And I think these may- telephone cases. Well, I was, yes. This, that <laughs> literally is exactly what I was gonna Everybody say. Everybody needs one. Our because, cell phone case. Yeah, yeah because. She, one, it's going to protect your phone. It protects your phone. Because, Two, it's hey, uh, counter to counter popular. Make the fucking commercial like we used to. Like make the mayonnaise cell phone commercial. I miss yeah. those when you yeah. were the doctor, dude. Like yeah. Doctor so funny. Doctor C's mayonnaise cell phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doctor C's extra protective iPhone case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's shoot that today. After e- we're extra done. protective. Extra. Here, this year's model with extra extra, extra, extra protection. protection. Extra protection. Get the cameras yeah, ready. Yeah, we're going to Doctor Steve's uh, mayonnaise telephone case. And that'll be done today. Are you well, tired of so, just normal protection? We have are you extra tired protection. Of dropping your phone, we'll mm-hmm. drop your phone in mayonnaise. That and like, dude, we you gotta get your shit together. We gotta get another Earl out. Like it's time. Like we've waited. Earl too. does need some sort of instruction. I, I already, I already have how to the fortify one your the home for Christmas. <laughs> He's got to come to Texas for that because we need you with real life health feds. Yeah, like, I, I, a hundred and ten percent agree. It's the problem with. Instructor Earl is that I've got to be in a very creative space for an extended period of time. And I just haven't been because we've been trying to take the company public and, you know, all the great things that we do here at Black Rifle Coffee, which is fantastic. And I think it's wonderful. But it's been a, it's been a, been a lot. You've been uh, non creative. You, you sound like Instructor Earl. Maybe, right now. Cre- not, it's been maybe a we go back to where it was born. We Maybe need you need to, to drive yeah. to McCall, Idaho. Right. Yeah, we probably yeah. do need to get him well, right back yeah. into the instructor. Earl you got to, you got to close I, I the gap and about attack it. I think, on this. Okay, I think we need about two pounds of psilocybin in about two months and a trip to Idaho and a like, trip to like Hawaii. Yeah, or something. Yeah, and then Hawaii is guaranteed where, that will like yeah. creative. The, the creative. If we will go to flow. Hawaii, can I assist the birth of an axis deer? Sure. Yeah, like, it, through death. Yes. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, I, it would be kind of cool to shoot one that's pregnant and then have the baby live after. 
Oh, I thought you were like going to talk about like yeah, and like cooking them yeah. together. I thought you're like I've already had a cooking, deer and it died. That's called double protein. It's a it's a real thing. It's I mean that's like I cooking them hate together. eating cum. <laughs> that was that was left that was out of field. I like it. Oh no, I thought that's what you were talking. About. <laughs> no, it was, no. was axis. They're like oh. delicious double deer. protein. Oh well, sometimes what what is it like a, a second lunch when you burp something up? Yeah. You get you get a second you get second lunch. Mm-hmm. You got some second lunch. I think it's so blatantly obvious now that uh, we're public that we're we've changed and we're a lot different. And this company is not going to be the same. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jared no longer. I. Eats you guys cum. made me throw out my collection of afterbirth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe I dreamed that. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that one. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Circuit City <laughs> was a horrible idea. Circuit, just to Circuit begin. City. Circuit City was. Was mentioned in the book Good to Great, uh, which is by Tim Ferriss, who I met last week. Good oh, to yeah, Great right. was not written by Tim Oh, no, it wasn't written by Tim Ferriss. I mean, it's a good reference that you did reference an author in a book. In, in a book, sentence. yeah. See, I, I think got, it's fine. I got two I, things right. I think we got it. Yeah, yeah. That's there. The Tools of the Titans. There it is. is. Four-hour work to. week. Yep, yeah. four-hour work week. And yeah. four other. Or work day, work week, four-hour work week. Five New York Times number one best-selling books. Really? Number one? Yes. Five. Funny you number bring that up. One. I am the only New York Times bestselling oh, author at yeah, this table. You were number so. six. It was That's not five, even the top five. five. Yeah. Who okay. I- Who beats Michelle Obama? It was rigged. I outsold them fucking ten x. All of them. I saw the numbers. Saw the data. It's fucking rigged. The New York Times can eat my fucking dick. That's why. And that's why in my book it says number one national bestseller because it was the number one national bestseller. Well, at least your prison wallet's full. I mean, with crypto. <laughs> <laughs> and our backs were tired, but you're doing this. <laughs> also, see, I have like I have rebuttals to that, but I'm like I'm not an asshole, so I won't say them. You know, I won't say them. Look, we the boats had to get carried. Yeah, we still right. We're, we're, you know, we got it. Don't worry. I mean, the Derek. company actually did help because we did put some adverts in the in the packaging. So it's all one. But right. I want to start a series of content called Veteran Genie Bottle. Yeah, you want to do the fucking wishes. That's dangerous. Yeah. You're, you're no, just trying I, to hire hot hot chicks that come out of the bottle <laughs> and a piece of content with like bikinis. No, it's not. Well, like, yeah, well, that had, had a really good horrible. genie skit. I a, forgot what it idea. was. No, you just, we we structure it so that like oh, I, you get, you get a money window, you got a limitation on money, and then you just got to, we each take it. It's like an individual content contest. You're, this kid, you're homophobic because I kid, said hot chicks like, and you're like, yes, why not hot dudes, Logan? Like, no. I, this is the problem with you is that you're not, you're transphobic and homophobic because you should have included everybody. Oh, he's not. Anybody so, in I, hot. I wrote, a, I wrote a screenplay and what it is, it's Logan and I, we're managing a brothel and we're addicted to drugs and what ends up happening is we have so much sex with morally casual women that we turn gay and become lovers. So we've been method acting. Yeah. Um, no, I we're thought excited. of an amazing piece of content series that I think would be great. And you will love it. It is, we give Paul Pasias and Tyr a million dollars cash in a briefcase, a camera crew, and one month to find the items needed to make a nuclear weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, they're out shopping on the black market, trying to buy some plutonium and uranium. <laughs> I think this would be hilarious. Who, who gets, wait, are they, are they individual? They're a team. They're no, 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 because you need Paul to like, mm. Paul's the only one that's going to be able to find the black market. Let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where to start. I wouldn't yeah, know where to start. Yeah. Paul He's like, I, I know a guy that might have enriched plutonium. What? Yeah. <laughs> got a hookup in Vegas. He's so I mean, He's not only, Molly. not only are they evading Interpol, <laughs> they're, they're on the black market. This is a great History Channel show. What does it take to purchase the items needed to make a suitcase nuke? It's called Black Market Dummies. It'll be out this. It's 2022. Black Market Dummies. Black market I love dummies. how you said a suitcase nuke. That's like that should be an ECS, dude. Just yeah. called suitcase, suitcase nuke. nuke. Like, why the fuck oh, we're doing oh. that? Log that, Derek. You're gonna design that. We haven't suitcase we nuke. haven't told Matt about the other ECS one that we came up oh, with. Yeah, yesterday. you tell him right now. Okay, so it's a kangaroo in hunter orange. It's a hunter kangaroo. 
Little he's baby. A, he's got a rifle. Okay. He's got the vest. He's got the, some camouflage. The, like, the yellow gla- safety glasses. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Amber, there's a, there's Texas a, Hunter shotgun guy. There's a mini kangaroo in the pouch with binos as the observer, and it's called Cunter. Cunter? Yeah. Cunter. Hunter, so it's like the K from kangaroo and then kangaroo hunter. hunter. Yeah. yeah, I mean the imagery is awesome. I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. hunt. It's kind they're of a wearing, play on hunter. Kango hats, right? Yeah, Kango hats. <laughs> yeah. Kango hats. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's almost funnier if you like named it like just outback or something. You know, like bareback, bareback, bear. I like hunt. maybe yeah maybe he's just got a name tag that just says hunter. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, that's the name tag. Yeah. What? It's kangaroo hunter. Kangaroo hunter. I still wanted to do the ECS where it was the, the the boxing kangaroo and he was in the ring. I thought, no, it was a raccoon. The raccoon? It was a raccoon. We had a yeah. couple good ones on that one. We never passed off all those notes we took from Alaska and all the ECSs. Oh, I mean, we did. But when I got back and took a look at the player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes. The, the Alaskan when, tundra. And when you take notes when you're there. high and then look at them a day later, you delete them. you know with Black Rifle Coffee's Coffee Club subscription, you can get fresh coffee shipped to you every month? What? You don't even have to go to the store. Whoa. You don't even have to leave your bed. What? Wow. How did you get in here? You might want to go ahead and join the Black Rifle Coffee Club subscription before one of these guys shows up at your place. Well, we weren't we weren't doing that. We were, I just, no, we were I'm just talking sitting about around what in a I tent. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like a week of like solitude, you know, can provide some bad ideas. It's fair. It some does. of them were good. We had, we had a couple of good ones. I think I did pass those off. I can't remember. That, that would ago. make sense. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Typically, when we pass things off, they just get lost in the. See, too bad we use teamwork. I like the teamwork thing because it's like the kangaroo. I'm going back, but it's like they're a team, right? The baby kangaroos, the spotter. You know, mama bear is the hunter. I'm a kangaroo. But I'm gonna, I'm yeah, no, I like that. that. Like teamwork's just an ongoing thematic thing that we do. I, Correct. Right? Yeah. I like that. Yes. Every year we come out with a new teamwork design. Like this year was Bigfoot, <clears throat> Great White Shark. Yes. Next year we'll do something else. Yeah. Teamwork. It's cool. like a grizzly bear with a satchel full of penguins hurling them into the ocean while yeah. a killer whale eats them. Teamwork. teamwork. See? Yes. Lovely. Yeah. I love that. So good. So I love good. that. I love that. He's, Football he's, penguins and yeah. the throwing penguins catching in yeah. its mouth. And there's one's got to be on like the, the iceberg. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the like oh. What is your name for orcas? You got, you, you had like a nickname for orcas. You really like orcas. For My favorite reason. animal. I might even get an orca tattoo. Ew. No, you should. I like that. Yeah. That, that is my favorite. Animal. Well, we got we got. AK. It's almost like if you put an orca on a K cup, call it Killer Pod, Pod of Orcas. See, that's, that's yeah. good. But, dude, pod. they're Killer so pod. fucking smart and they're so cool. They fucking communicate and they just fucking. They're they're one of the only species that plays with their prey. They fuck seals kind of, up and they just I, toss them around. They throw them to their kids. And they're like, fuck this seal up, but don't eat it. I just have such awesome. a bad taste in my mouth. Because when I think of orcas, I think of Michael Jackson and I think of gross. Oh, don't ruin it for me. Don't you Good. dare take you my Why do you think of that? Michael Jackson? I don't understand. Free Willy did the theme song. Oh, I didn't. And then I diddled didn't a bunch of, of children. And killer <laughs> whales are not even whales. They're fucking a species of dolphin. Yeah. They're called killer whales because they were whale killers because they killed whales. And then it, the translation got reversed and they called them killer whales. Do you guys get mad whenever you hear Moon Michael Jackson? Like, yes. When I, I hear his music, I'm like, no, this, all of it should have been no, wiped from I, the face I of the planet. I fucking said this last night. The fact. The fact that thousands and tens of thousands of people fucking marched when that fucking pedophile fuck died. And then we have American heroes that died in fucking Afghanistan. What the fuck is wrong with their culture? Like, a lot. seriously. A lot. Like, I'm fucking serious on that. There's a lot. I mean, we technically <clears throat> elected a brain dead person. So we- <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> we were having that conversation this morning yeah. about how... <laughs> there are the, people that are doctors and A group and of really dumb and- people <laughs> that have power and control, and they're really, they're just like what I like to call classified as dum-dums. Yeah. They're like dum-dums. the dumbest of the, the, they're like the dumbest of us all, and we've decided to give them the keys. That's crazy. Just like, it's crazy. AOC's it's in like, government. Just, it's just crazy. swallow that fucking pill. Yeah. Like, I'm going to give an incompetent elderly person the keys to this fucking nuclear 
A nuclear arsenal. truck yeah. that has the possibility of launching nuclear b- weapons and driving over the country. Good idea. Let's I mean, that. just think about, think of the roles were reversed. And like, you know, Russia made their leader like this total fucking idiot. Would we, what would we do at that point? Be like, uh, guys, you want to rethink that one a little bit? He's looking at the nuke button. Yeah. This is how you flush a toilet. Guys, <laughs> no, no, no. you guys want to. <laughs> we would be like, yeah, fuck that. It's awesome. Because we'd be like, if Putin was an incompetent moron, we would love that. I would never stop watching the news see? in Russia. I would be like, oh my God, that, like, that would be my TV experience. Maybe for the day. this let's, is the watch and see what's maybe, going on. Maybe this is, maybe this. <clears throat> I wonder how for much. The real clandestine, like, for the, for, the, for the life of me, what I want, because I, I want to see by the grace of God, whatever it is, because working in the CIA, we used to always talk about how we hope there's another. CIA that you don't know about behind yeah. this that we don't know about. It's really this is such a fucking clown show. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, like because the, the, it's the this, real intelligence. Yeah, community. like <laughs> we're hoping there is a shadow government somewhere that is semi-functional yeah. <laughs> that actually like, knows what the fuck is going on. Yeah, you're suspicious of the Illuminati. Like, no, we hope that's actually no, a no, thing. no. We no, do. It'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be cool because, Illuminati. because this would be the ultimate ruse. You elect this. Idiot to represent us, and he's like falling asleep and shit in his pants and fucking <laughs> talking about children and leg hair and all kinds of weird ass shit. And we're like, look at we're we're not so bad, guys. We're really just grossly incompetent idiots that stumble around <laughs> fucking eating cheeseburgers and drinking beer all day. That's what we do, right? Yeah. But really, the shadow right. government is behind it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, I hope so. With like, with like, you know. Rambo chest hair and M sixties, like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. where the, where are they at? Dude, that's yeah. why. Well, that's where I'm so disappointed with the DOD. It's like you you had the op, the opportunity like 20 years ago to go. Guess what? If you're soft, I want you covered from forehead to toe in tattoos. I want you all on steroids, and I want you all to have giant beards. I want every country to be afraid when you are getting on a plane because yeah. a bunch of fucking Vikings are rolling well, over. Well, it's, it's yeah. the to difference between like, like even— There's no psyops! Well, no, you're, you're completely correct. I mean, did you see the, the parallel between the Russian like soft commercial and then what they took the U.S. Yeah, Army yeah. commercial? It was <clears> like, did. like people prancing in the U.S. Army and just like, everybody's fun and we hang out and drink coffee and the Russians are like fucking suiting up bald head jack motherfucker like obviously on all the juice. Yeah, He's like, the they're juice. jumping out of planes and like we fucking kill people. Don't like, even the difference parachute. is so apparent. Like, yeah, I tried to enlist in the piece. Russian army. I tried. I couldn't, I couldn't, but I did after I saw that you video. You watch and you're like, yeah. there's some bad motherfuckers, dude. Like, it, it's, it's propaganda, obviously, but like, mm-hmm. Cool. Well, it was so interesting to I'm see. I'm not the, sucking Russia's dick. I'm yeah, just saying, no. I think we're Yeah, doing but at least the here. one thing Russia has that I'm envious of is at least like their leadership is we want to fuck everyone up. No, I would like that. Yeah. I would like well, to have that message. Well, you don't yes. pussyfoot around it. Not, oh, we can't talk. We don't I mean, But that's break. the propaganda we see. You don't know like the internal workings of it, right? So. No, but I wish we would put something out there. Like, we used to make commercials where, like, there was a guy with a sword fighting a lava monster. That's cool. Like, yeah, that's that was cool. so that was cool. cool. Where did that go? I've never seen well, that happen even, in real even life. Even if we were just, like— <laughs> Well, you weren't in the Marine Corps. Dry, <laughs> even, even if you're just jumping out of a plane, 30,000 feet, you know, with NVGs at night, that kind of shit is inspirational. Yeah. That's really fucking cool. And you're, you know, running through a shoot house with, you know— even if it's white light for, for, for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Like it's fucking yeah. cool, right? Or you know, hoisting oh, logs oh, and doing idea. like this flying jets and like, no. Yeah. Let's make a moto video for like a recruiting video for the oh, US. Dude, let's, let's, like, let's, this is Black Rifle's video take on you should have yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the take, like Black Rifle's take on this is All what a recruiting commercial, commercial should look like. Should yes. Look like. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we go. Here's how you guys should be doing this. Yes. I like that. You, and we have all the idea. services. And they're like, yeah. guys, you got to take boom, the boom, logos boom. off. No, no, we're not going to. I mean, I will say that Call that someone. Ranger commercial that uh, Those our, were really our good. friend worked on, um, Jericho, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was well, fucking no, that rad. Was, yes, that was but fantastic. I think that was one of their like, but worst But Rangers are fucking things. awesome, though. Like, we all know this. Is. But like, everything else sucks in the last, what? When was the last time you saw good We should make that commercial. We could get with Jim. And shoot that. I and it's just like no that that yes. recruiting commercial that came out of the DOD where it was like a girl growing up with two moms, like 
I mean, I, th- I thought that spoke There's to like, a wide percentage of people in the United States that were like, yeah, we should join the, join the military. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure recruiting numbers just skyrocketed after They did. That. Right. Because they spoke to fucking 0.5% of the, of the American popu- population <laughs> You know, in the, urban the best areas, part about that commercial Evan is it doesn't speak to your your scope of duty, service, uh, love of country. It speaks to you know who you are, who you are as an individual, yeah. and that somehow has relevance in the greater good and service to nation. Under like instead of going, hey, America's a diverse place. We should all come together and be like freedom. Fuck yeah, no, we shouldn't do that. Oh, we should we, fucking talk about we should talk what about the our preference backgrounds. of people with the lights off in their bedroom have. No one fucking cares. Nobody cares. That's the crazy thing with that is we all kind of celebrated our differences in the military, right? It's like, I'm from here. I'm from here. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Like, it was always spoken about, like, where are you guys from? But after a while, you're like, we're just part of the unit and the unit is this yeah. and this is the mission, right? Yeah. Nobody gave a shit. The subculture. Like, yeah. Nobody asked me about my fucking parents. Like, oh, you know, outside of like, where do your parents still live in Idaho? Bored. And you go, yeah. yeah. And that was the end of it. That was like the and end of like, it. After hey, that. Yeah. You want to go pull the saw out of the armory and go to the range and shoot fucking stuff. It was no, like, yes. after that, I, it was like, we lived in fucking no, like wherever I like that. place. And we were, we were like yeah. bound by what we were accomplishing, not by our the fucking team. background. Let's go back to your house in Idaho. And, and we'll like, instead of this female that's growing up and two mom thing, like we'll go back, to, we'll start the video Filming it at your house in Idaho. Yeah. That the last time we drove past it had a tarp for the garage door. Yeah. And we'll showcase this person's journey. I'll, I'll, I'll show what you. What they can I'll, accomplish and do in the U.S. I'll, I'll, I'll post a photo of my, I, I go to the, my, my house that I grew up in as a, as a kid kid every year. And I, I take a photo in front of it. Right. I don't know who lives there now. But it's a, basically a single wide trailer. And what it does is, you know, it's a very small town with sub 300 people in the middle of nowhere. It's a logging community that's been, you know, hit very hard because of NAFTA. My father almost filed bankruptcy from his logging company. Like, it's, it's economically depressed. But you know who isn't depressed? People that live there. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, we get to, you know, play in the mountains and work. And we fucking live up in this fucking incredibly beautiful place. But the point of the picture that I take every year is to see like how far I've come as an individual, but also it's, I'm still here, right? It's like, I'm still there. I still appreciate and love the place. Like I go to the convenience the gas station. People don't know me as like Evan Hafer from Black Rifle Coffee. They know me as Whitey's, Whitey's grandson or Ed Hafer's son. They don't fucking yeah. give a shit yeah. about awesome. how cool we think we are. And I'm not saying like, oh, well, I got to go to, you know, a remote place in the middle of Idaho to become normal. I'm saying like, no, man, like it's just a normal town with fucking good people that work really hard. And I take my kids there and we fucking spend a lot of time there. You go to restaurants, eat, you like hang out, you talk to people like a fucking normal person. And every year when I spend a lot of time there, it's, Really good to see it just like my family, like where where I came from because it keeps me like exactly rooted where I've always been. So regardless of and the capstone of that conversation is like, regardless of the size of the company, we're still like same people. Mm-hmm. Except for Jared, he's <laughs> dropping an entire person. Um, yeah. It doesn't mean people. I'm any different. No. And Matt had plastic surgery I, on his prison wallet, but I just have yes. gotta my that thing knees up. Are, are, are working a little better. Knees There's are a little weight off. Of- yeah, and you, you don't have a a, a blistered rhino liver. tranquilizer level of alcohol floating through your fucking <laughs> veins. Rhino at tranquilizer. most most. I kind of have it this morning after my night. So yeah, yeah. How you, was that? What did you do you last turned night? Turned one on last night. I could tell it. I could see it in your eyes. Oh, I had admitted it the first thing I came in today. It yeah. was. It was. You know, we hung out with uh, like some of the guys are in town, like uh, Brandon Herrera and Donut, and I was like, oh, have a couple drinks with them, and then I'll go do this fucking dinner, and then I will head over to you guys. And then it got squirreled, yeah. and lots of people were there, and I was interfacing, and they liked to take shots because there was an open bar, and they paid for <sighs> everything, and they were just like. Throwing in front, and I kind of went back to like 28 year old Matt, and I was like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And then when I was walking to the hotel room, I said, I immediately regret this fucking decision. 
My shots are the worst. I'm like, it was, that, that, that is brutal. I don't remember them. We, um, it's going to break. We went to our house, my house last night and, uh, I ordered a bunch of steak because I can eat red meat now. I've, I, 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 hey, I can Yay. eat. Are you not, are you, are you like no symptoms? Zero, zero allergic. Have you, I'm sure you guys know he had Lyme disease and, and a portion of Lyme disease. Because I didn't get steak last meat. night. What? There wasn't enough steaks. Yeah, there was. I there were two steaks left when we finished. Oh, eating. really? I didn't yeah. see. I want to. I want to. I couldn't find one of those thousands for me. of pounds of game meat that we had. Oh, yeah, can man. we do that? Can we do that we tonight? We had. We have a barbecue. Uh, Wild I, game I, barbecue last week here at Black Rifle Coffee. Was tonight. it last week, Derek? Yes, Friday. Yeah, it was last we week. We have one tomorrow, which or tonight? is Black Rifle Friday, the anniversary. Yeah, because of this you're going to be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, I, I'm, and are you I just, still going to be here or are you I'm, taking off? I'm not taking off today. Oh, well, then tomorrow, let's get together with the core three. We're going to have. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I think, think you, how long I think you should like stay. Good. I think you should stay because at home is kind of boring right Why are you Who wants to go home to see their in laws? Fuck! No person has ever yeah. said that. Well, I, I want to go home to see my in-laws. It's, it's like family. Is it I mean, your family? No. Then no who the fuck cares? Dude, this is a conversation fucking happening right now. I already <laughs> said it in my state multiple fucking days and you just want to be a troll fuck, 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 troll. Whatever. It's not. I'm okay. not trolling anyone. I'm saying like, I've never said, hip, hip, hooray. Kate, let's go see your fucking family. I've never said that. Those yeah, things have never, husband, never you know? said, never come out of my mind or my fucking mouth. I'm like, cool. I hope you have That's fun. That's the reason. It was just, I fucking, we're flying out today. His flight was today too. So I booked the same flight. And then well, it's like, now oh, we're we throwing a party last night over red meat steaks because I can eat. And then, you know. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I feel like I got my balls back. I really feel like I got my balls back. Yeah. Like, not because it makes me feel like more like a man to eat red meat. It's just, it's been so long. I, I truly enjoy red meat. And I, I was on carnivore for like two months. And a lot of months. it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of months. And we have thousands of pounds of elk. And I'm sitting here eating a fucking piece of chicken for the last several months. It's sucks. Let's, yeah. let's all do carnivore for like, Let's all do it. How do you do it? You do eat meat. meat. That's it. Yeah. That, no that's cheese. That's all you eat. No cheese. What, no, no cheese? you can. Well, we could do cheese. We, I mean, we, we should, should set no. the parameters. You can. Well, like, okay, I've okay, never okay, been wait, on wait, a like, real diet, so you have to give me the you rules. Hate things you like hate liquid things that come out of other things. What do you mean? Come like come. No, I just said I cheese I, comes I, from milk, I, which comes from food. Like I just don't enjoy eating. I drink milk cow cheese. It's really delicious. Jared told me the like the like one of the first conversations we had about milk was like there are two. The, the two types of cows, because there's the European cow and the American cow and the, the derivatives yeah. of milk that come out of them. And I was like, Jared, that's right. But you're drinking from the single udder cow. Yeah. And that's not the right cow. It's right. chalky. It's, it tastes a little bit and like bleach. Yeah. And you don't like that. It doesn't come out. It's sticky. <clears throat> normally like a yogurt. <laughs> that's not, you're drinking get from it out of my male beard. cow milk. Use alcohol that's wipes. male cow milk. I don't have, drink that. I have That's a real question right. for Logan. How much of my fucking meat are you eating since you have my freezers? There's none left. Yeah, I'm already through it. It's no. gone. It's gone. All gone. I will fight you. It's all gone. All gone. No. How much have you been eating though, really? I don't know. A decent amount. You've been the elk, the stag, the axis. I like the He's stag. been baiting the, the tigers. The, the stag is so good. It's better than elk, I think. Red stag? That's, that's, a, that's a bold move and a bold statement. But red stag, yeah, red deer. I, I couldn't say it. I couldn't go that far. It, it's, 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 it's just different. I mean, I, well, I'm is, ready for steak. I, do, we have, do you have any moose? Do you have any more moose? Oh, I God. Do. Dude, you know what's fucking good? For, I don't have any at the house. It's at the gun shop. But wildebeest? Mm. I've had wildebeest. You made wildebeest chili? Ooh, I had. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Like, dude, I went to Africa with Baker Lucky. six years ago. Yeah. And like. I ate everything and everything was good. Like we had Impala, like flank steak and like, oh, oh, the You food. know what's really good too? The, at the Bergheim meat market, they have Neil Guy and they do the tomahawk um, steak, Neil Guy. Tomahawk, Neil. Oh man, we're going to so have good. a huge what if, cookout when what we if, get back. What if you hyped a cow up on a lot of painkillers and then slowly injected butter into them while they were still alive? I don't even think you'd need to inject painkillers into it's them. It's like Jared's version of Wagyu. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. ethical, you know? It's like, wouldn't you, yeah, wouldn't you just let them eat the butter? you just inject the butter into the steak before you... But what if... It, it's not, you, it's, no. They're, they're going to metabolize it. 
You're going to metabolize it. It's what if there's rosemary in the version? Well, okay. I mean, you're trying to pre-season okay, so a live pre- animal. Scope this though. I'm <laughs> trying to pre-season a live animal. Have you seen what um, Lucas is building for Cody and I down there? In the no, shop? Donut. Oh. So we ha- he saw this, but it's essentially like a, a trough that's like angled like this and he's putting metal off and it's for melting butter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I'm having him put a grate in there because what I was thinking is if you put that over the fire and you put like, let's just say basil and thyme and garlic, you heat that, the, the grate essentially cooks it and creates the flavor profile. And then when you pour the butter or put the stick of butter in there to melt it over it, great, it's this like zestful, delicious fucking- I could see that. Over red meat. Yeah. I, I must, could definitely I see must that. try this thing. I, yeah. It's not completely built yet, but Lucas from Grizzly Forge is making it. It's awesome. So you're coming down to Texas for Thanksgiving. I am. I'll be down Let's there. Have like all week. the greatest Thanksgiving feast that's ever existed. Dad's making a seven rib prime rib. Ooh, well, I mean, you fucked start. it up last time I was down there. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. <laughs> he was. He was I spicy. So Listen to this pot. He was spicy. <laughs> if anybody knows my father, Roger was so pissed. He was so awesome. Uh, how would you say? Particular old man. <laughs> yeah. he was, he's like he goes. He goes. What do you go? Go. You're cooking the goddamn prime rib. I'm not fucking Traeger now to use it. Then he puts it in there. Then I fucking went. I left it in there like eight minutes over. It wasn't like blood rare. It was just like. Yeah. It was amazing. Like it was, it was so good. Prime rib. And Roger <laughs> was so pissed off. And he was making digs about. Might as well just throw this in the trash. This is garbage. Yeah, the whole, I, where the yeah, fuck the whole was time, this? Whole time. It, was it was at Matt's house. house. Yeah. Last year? Yeah. Uh, it was like, it, yeah, it, was, it was for rain, something like else. I don't think it, it, it was raining Maybe it wasn't. Year. It was, he was so no, he mad. He was just eating it like a fucking throw in the trash. Or feed this to the yeah. dogs. Yeah. The dogs sure well, like, looks like we got some dog meat. I think you're right. Yeah, I remember having the prime rib. It was great. I had a whole handful. It was great. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, Roger's like, might as well scrape this off and feed it to the dogs because an idiot that made this. And he'd like look over at Matt. And Matt's like, I... I was just doing the thing that he told me to do, man. I just like, what are you like talking the about? Smoke oven thingy, like, <laughs> fuck, man. I think the proper term we could use for Roger is curmudgeon. That's uh, at times, yeah. Roger's Papa Best. Oh, okay, yeah. so I want to get curmudgeon. you and Roger in on this. We we uh, decided that we're going to take our father's uh, alligator hunting. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Roger, and then, my and then, dad, and I'll take my dad. dad. You, should we? You yeah. We'll, we'll just do the father. Do we'll do a father that son. Can we, re- can we record that? Because yeah. the amount of banter and shit talking, like oh, it this, my, it's epic. Epic. everything it I do. Because so right, I don't know if your parents are like this, but like being the youngest and shit, like everything I do is the wrong way. Like how I turn a wrench, how right. I use a screwdriver, oh, how I geez. shoot a gun is is that is wrong. So going on a fucking alligator hunting yes. trip with my dad, yes. it will when be is this? comedic because gold. We need, to, we need to have a full crew. Like we need to have a camera guy per person, yeah, yeah. per father-son unit. Yeah. Uh, Plus, and then you like, they're at, my dad's at the age where you don't know if the stories are like accurate, but he, every time I fact check them, they're actually correct. So I'm yeah. like, I feel like you're lying, but then- you know, my dad, like, my The plus like, compassion is a 17 odd what bolt thingy. And I'm like, you're fucking lying. Yeah. I Google it and it's right. Yeah. Uh, well, my, my dad- it appears the older he gets, the longer he has lived. Now, understand when I say this statement, it's not like possible for him to have lived in the late 1800s. <laughs> so when he's telling me about, well, when I came across and we were trapping out here and it's like, y- that was trapping? the 1940s. You had vehicles. You were not rowing in canoes and killing wild animals to live off the land. But that's the way he makes it sound. He's like, right. well, me and... Dick Stevens were up on <laughs> Smith Ridge <laughs> with wild name, horses right? and we we're carrying, you know, tents in there. Yeah, and I'm like, Ryan what Atwood. the fuck are you talking right. about? There was no wild horses in Idaho. You didn't trap like wild horses with Ain't a lasso. No beavers here. It's like, that dad is a Louis L'Amour book. I read it. You're referring to that. Well, one time I got in this OK Corral shootout, me and Doc <laughs> Holiday. I'm like, motherfucker, that was like, 1870, yeah, but dude. You, like, you, you didn't you, know Doc the, Holiday. What you the fuck it, are you talking about? in perspective, dude, that's going to be us. Like, well, I was on this last trip with Mr. Evan Haper and Mr. Logan Stark, and, you know, two bears came out of the woods, and boom, boom, boat dead. And then yeah, a wolf that's comes a out. True and boom, story, and like, I, I know, but I'm saying, like, it would sound as not real. Sure, sure. And we'll probably say that yeah. we were walking 20 miles a day, all uphill. Right. You, know, you got to fabricate it when you get that old. Uh, I... I I recently went. Should we talk about this? Should we talk about like? Well, I want to talk about my dad too because he just came out and visited me. That's right. Yeah, we're in, a, so we're in an hour yeah. core four. Let's keep it running. But you go ahead. We're on Ed. We're so I just got back from this meat eater hunt with Steve. Yeah, Steve Ranella. Sounded and, like my nightmare. Um, 
So whomever might have a doubt as to whether or not Steve and like do the things that he does, which I don't know why you would, or you think maybe it's like television magic. I'm here to tell you it is not. The dude can fucking hike his ass off. Yeah. And all he thinks about is hunting. So I started talk, calling him like the hunting cyborg because he didn't drink water ever. Like, and I started taking pictures on my phone every time he'd, he'd pull out. He'd like pull his water bottle out around noon after we've been hiking for like five hours. And he'd take like a little sip and he'd put it right back. And I'm like, you're doing that just to prove that you might be human. You're not yeah. doing that because you you're thirsty. It. You don't need it. And he's like got full Gore-Tex. So humans. Three I layers. Being- just walking, you know, through the, we were up in the Prince of Wales. It's a beautiful area, rainforest, but logs and terrain everywhere. It was, it was, it was incredible experience. Like, like absolutely incredible experience. Super fun guy. Great. Uh, spend some time with him. It was very difficult. It was trying, right? It was, it was a hard physical circumstance. Um, incredible meat. The blacktail is like amazing. That's Little deer. I haven't had it's like, I haven't had it's like a now. fat axis. Really? The meat. It's better than axis? It's a fat axis. <laughs> would, 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 would you have backstraps? That's what it is. You have tenderloins or backstraps? I've eaten both of them now. So we still have back, we actually still have a backstrap left. Well, let's, let's fire up the backstrap today before you take off. And then we'll have a little backstrap from the I would black, love to try backstrap because that's one of the very few animals really I have. Ready so we went meat. shrimping. Wait, we did, you went shrimping? I, I did Is that why shrimping. you sent me that photo? Of shrimp, yes. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's a big I pot. Go shrimping. We were in a boat. I'll go shrimping. I, I don't know how you guessed all that based on the video that I sent you. I was like, Jared, I'm shrimping. This is a shrimp pot. But either way, we went shrimping. We caught these wild shrimp. and. You know, Steve's cruising around. We're in this little boat. I promise. And yeah, they're they're amazing. They're prawns. They're fucking amazing. Cook we cooked them up right there. You're sick having them. I had, I, I roasted coffee in a frying pan. You know, that like party trick yeah. that I like to do. But we did this. Yurgachev coffee in a frying pan. I roasted it. Me a good we year. made We made a coffee rub right there yeah. for the blacktail. So we killed it that morning. Oh, so good. Came back. Roasted the coffee in a oh, frying pan, so good, ground it up, dude. made oh, the, the coffee rub, did the whole thing. Then we had like shrimp and coffee rub, black tail. It was awesome. Like it was, it was an incredible experience. The guys that work out there at Meteor, uh, the entire crew, super fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. Super I was super cool jealous guy. when you were going there. And then after hearing the aftermath, because, you know, I'll give you some clout. You, your age, your height, your body physique. You're a fucking <laughs> stud, man. Like oh, wow, that That's a, interesting. <laughs> quite the compliment you got there. Quite a, quite for, a compliment. Being a, for being <laughs> a complete <laughs> idiot, for, you're for kind your of mental smart. attributes, you can actually do math. I'm surprised. It's amazing. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're a stud and you were even like, man, that was, that was, that was hard. And it's so, hard. Uh, Hurt your soul. I know, I know that would be, because so, you, you, you hung in the Alaska trip. You didn't fucking complain with that. Like nothing. Like you're a tough motherfucker. I'll it's, give you that. It's not as if I'm obese. I just have a right, sedentary like, CEO life. Like that's what it is. I saw a two by four in my yard. Really good. Uh, you Wait, have what? A, there's looking, probably a lot of them in the walls well, of your I, house. I'm, I'm training to be a construction I just worker. can't. Like right. it still blows my mind that you're the only person on the planet that w- was existing in a situation where you had a two by four shoot out of a wood chipper and into your jet ski. I know. It's amazing. It's just, Nobody else on the planet. I has need a that support clout. group. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. Yes, I'm still. My new foundation so, is you know yeah. support people group. that have been that have been emotionally impacted <laughs> by two by fours thrown from a wood chipper into their jet skis. Right. <laughs> I told you you need to make that video. <laughs> I okay. did make that video and I sent it to you. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> the uh, to your point though on the cooking stuff, um, I, I'll probably do it this year for Thanksgiving too. But I had at this on that uh, meat market, I get like a Cajun seasoning. It's a little spicy, but the best fucking thing ever is I always take a little knife, cut the top off of black rifle. It's JB. That's the best one I've cooked with on a K cup. Odd. You sprinkle that and you do a rub out of the coffee. I'm oh. telling you, when you listen to this, mm-hmm. I will not do you wrong. I put it in the Traeger. But yeah. that coffee, it kind of adds like uh, another like texture and sear component. Like it adds like a darkness, a black. It's mm-hmm. almost like a, a seared, blackened chicken breast, but on the outside of a turkey. Fucking phenomenal! It won't. I promise you won't do it wrong. Well, in the K cup, the reason that it's in the K cup is because it's ground really 
fine. Fine, yes. And because that that fine round coffee, it, it really does cook a lot better because if you get really chunky, and when I say yeah. the, the granularity size increases, it's just not that good as far as a coffee rub. So you got to well, get it nice and fine. perfect because I've tried like standard grinds and then I've yeah. tried like espresso. Espresso is too fine. It's yep. too powdery. It's too like powdery. It's sticky. Mm-hmm that cake up and mm-hmm. you just cut the top and it's like a perfect little like seasoning bucket. Mm. So it's you a, can it's use a our single loop. serve. A couple of weeks ago, I made buffalo turkey legs and they're amazing. Buffalo, buffalo tur- turkey like legs. with like a buffalo like, sauce? So I took turkey legs, yeah. were smoked, and put them in a foil tray and then butter and buffalo sauce. Oh, Jared. And- Jared. What? Oh, it's, it's so It was like good. the biggest jet. Yes. So Why it's didn't you invite big- me yeah. over the for I did. When? Didn't I me. told you I sent pictures. Because I made three different sauces. Yeah, no, it's rosemary. Accurate. I would no. That's it sounds untrue. Accurate. Because it's I'm really hungry. Good. The I buffalo showed up. goes into the legs, and it's like the biggest buffalo. Is it skin on had. or skin off? On the skin on. Skin on. Yeah. Fuck. Yes. Skin on. Are you guys hungry or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm ready. Let's go get the access. Food. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's sign off. Okay. Hey, core uh, four. we definitely need to put a fucking. Thing at the beginning of this one that says, uh, don't listen to this in the car with your children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So otherwise, yeah, yeah, you're going to have a lot of awkward conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not. Yeah, do not. Children. Yes. This is a single topic show. Yep. <laughs> yep. Single topic. <laughs> Derek's laughing. Yeah, good. We, we made Derek laugh a few times on this. So. All right. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. That concludes today's training. Any questions?